Remy and Papoose are one of hip-hop's favorite couples. They've gone through so much together, all while being in the public eye. For so many years, they appeared to be a happy, healthy, and solid couple. And we really thought they were in it for the long haul. Until now. Oh, this is gonna be messy, ain't it? Before we get into this hot, stinking mess, take a seat. Get comfortable. Put some snacks in your hands. Just take a chance and lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. back. And bust open a bag of goodies from rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of five-star munchies like beef and bacon jerky, sour licorice belts, and butter toffee peanuts. After a prison stint at Rikers Island, Papoose decided to take rap seriously to make a better life for himself. He recorded a mixtape and took it to Hot 97 radio station in an attempt to get his music in the hands of the late DJ K. Slay, who would feature new artists during his radio time slot. After several weeks of giving K. Slay the same mixtape over and over and over again, K. Slay finally played Papoose's music on the radio and invited him to the studio. From there, he became Papoose's mentor and put him on mixtapes with big artists. This eventually led to a bidding war, with multiple labels wanting to sign him. Jive Records came up with the most lucrative offer valued at $1.5 million. Papoose told Vlad TV he received a text message from an anonymous source who told him not to sign on the dotted line. The insider told him that he overheard a man at the label saying that as soon as Papoose signed with Jive and dropped his first single, he would make sure Papoose was kicked off the label. Apparently, the owner of the label was very invested in Papoose's career, and the employees of the label were in their feelings about it for some reason. Either way, Papoose ignored the warning and signed with Jive in 2006. Everyone would listen to Kay Slay's radio show, including Remy Ma. Remy said she couldn't stand Papoose because her mixtapes were always number one on the DJ's list, up until Papoose bumped her down to number two. Papoose told MTV's Build series that K. Slay told him that there was someone who wanted to make music with him. That woman turned out to be Remy, of course. The DJ warned Papoose that Remy was a bit crazy. And that's what we call a red flag. Okay. Papoose ignored the red flags. Remy stood him up for their first studio session because she didn't like her outfit. Girl, what the outfit got to do with recording music? She showed up for the second session and they instantly clicked and became friends. After hanging out for a bit, one thing led to another and they had their first date sitting in a car and smoking some MJ. Parking lot pimping. That sound fun as hell. Just wait for the rest of the story, girl. During a night out in July 2007, Remy ended up at a restaurant in Manhattan with some friends and acquaintances. According to the New York Times, as the night winded down, Remy accused a woman named Makita Barnes-Joseph of stealing $3,000 from her purse. As the pair struggled over the purse, a firearm discharged, and the woman was shot two times in the abdomen. Thankfully, the woman was able to recover from her injuries. As for Remy, well, she was charged with an attempt to take someone's life, although her lawyer stated it was an accident. The case went to trial in 2008, and during that time, she and Papoose got engaged. She was eventually found guilty, and while awaiting sentencing at Rikers Island, Papoose paid her a visit. During his visit, guards became suspicious when they noticed Papoose had a small key in his possession that they believed he was going to pass to Remy so she could unlock her handcuffs and make a run for it. Papoose called the allegations a bunch of BS. The key was confiscated, and Papoose was ordered to stay away from the prison for the next six months. That's what his ass did. Although he couldn't physically be with her for the time being, he was still going to support her no matter what. He told MTV, It's not in my heart to leave somebody when they're in a time of need. Crisis actually brings me closer to them. I'ma hold her down, keep her mind steady. Is he a Pisces? Girl, that sounds like a Pisces to me. Loyal as hell. To some, this sounds like Papoose was definitely more into her than she was into him. And perhaps she just decided to go with the flow since he was there and she knew she would need someone to lean on during her prison stint. Well, ain't that just trifling as hell? They planned to get married on a yacht, but instead they had to make arrangements for a prison wedding. After the judge called her an extremely angry young woman whose anger is completely out of control, Remy was sentenced to eight years behind bars and was forced to be separated from her loved ones, including her son, from a previous relationship. The New York Times reported that minutes after the sentence was imposed, in a hallway outside the courtroom doors, Papoose flew into a fit of rage, 
lunging and cursing at court officers, then overturning a trash can near the elevators. Papoose reportedly shouted at the guards, go ahead, lock me up, as a group of his friends surrounded him and carried him away from the courthouse. What is crazy ass? Now what good is it gonna do for both of y'all asses to be in there? Remy was transferred to the Bedford Hills Correctional Facility for Women to begin her sentence. Shortly after she arrived, they got married to give Papoose spousal rights to visit Remy while she was locked up. During the first year of her sentence, Papoose visited her on every single visiting day, which was Monday through Friday and on alternating weekends. He didn't even care that the prison was an hour and a half drive from where he was living in Brooklyn. Remy told Sister to Sister magazine that visiting hours were from 8.30 in the morning until 3.30 in the afternoon, and Papoose would cancel shows and interviews just so he could stay stay with her the entire day. Aww, you gonna miss that money though. After leaving the prison at 3.30, he would drive home and then call her once he arrived home around 5, and they would talk all night until it was time for her to return to her sleeping quarters. Okay, girl, now so far I don't see nothing wrong with Papoose. That's a good man, Savannah, ain't it? People told her that he would leave her, but Papoose proved them all wrong. Remy said, after that first year or two, I was like, all right, it's no need for me to worry anymore. He's definitely in it for the long run. And it's obvious how much he loves me. I never have to question that. But do you love him? That's the question, girl. Oh, okay, I see where this going now. Remy about to fuck it up, ain't she? Yep. <laughs> Papoose told Vlad TV that Remy was able to have conjugal visits, so he would have to go to the store, buy a bunch of food, pick up his three children from previous relationships and Remy's son, and they would stay with her in the prison for three days at a time. Too busy running behind Remy. You should have been running behind a job. Ninja, you didn't have no job. You got to have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. Hey. My bad, girl. <laughs> Go ahead. Remy told Hollywood Life Podcast that eventually she had to tell Papoose not to visit her as much because she knew he needed to focus on his career. So let's do a brief recap. Papoose neglected his own career to run behind Remy's ass while she was locked up, and she had to tell him to get to stepping so he could go handle his obligations in the outside world. Was Papoose crazy in love or just crazy in the head? Or both of them? How about both of them? Look up codependent in the dictionary. Papoose picture be right there like cheese. <laughs> what, what kind of man are you where you would rather just uh, drive out to a prison in the middle of nowhere and sit Indian style and play uh, spades with your girl while she in prison instead of you as a man getting out here and getting some money? Women love to sit around and say, I would love to have a man like Papoose. No, you wouldn't because you'll cheat on him too because he's lame. If a man ever puts all of his effort in you, instead of him prioritizing himself, you're not going to like the experience. Papoose released one single on Jive Records, and after that, his career hit a brick wall. Everyone at the label didn't want to have anything to do with him. He had intense regret for not paying attention to the anonymous text message he received prior to signing his deal. He later told Vlad TV that signing with Jive Records was the worst mistake of his career. But despite everything he had going on, he refused to divert his attention away from Remy. She told Angie Martinez, He's an official dude. He held me down better than my best friends that I grew up with and family members. Remy was even more grateful when she noticed how the husbands and boyfriends of her fellow inmates would stop showing up to visit them after a while. A prison chaplain speaking with the New York Times said that 80% of married male inmates' marriages end within their first year in prison. As for female inmates, the rate is much closer to 100%. In other words, men are way more likely to leave their imprisoned wives in the dust. But Papoose was different. He's different. Yes, he's different. I told you, that's a good man, Savannah. After serving six years, Remy was released in 2014, and she and Papoose were ready for love after lockup. But reality hit her straight in the face. Remy told Own's Black Love series that she was shocked to find out that Papoose had a habit of leaving bowls of cereal in the bathroom. Man, that's nasty as hell. Fecal matter in your Frosted Flakes and shit. <laughs> and clothes would pile up on the couch and Papoose would cover them up with blankets. Now listen, Remy, you can't have it all now. The man came to see you when you was in prison every damn day, bringing the kids up in sh Bitch, put them clothes up. Hell, shut your ass up. She said it took her a while to adapt to being free and living with her husband. 
She said, I had always been someone who lived by myself with my son, and I went to that to being incarcerated by myself, and now come home and I have this husband, and I have stepchildren, and it was just a lot. Papoose told her she should just be happy that she was back home, but Remy couldn't get over the living conditions. I'm like, OCD, and you guys are like, D-I-R-T-Y. <laughs> like, girl, if you don't shut your rich ass up and get a housekeeper. In 2015, they joined the cast of Love & Hip Hop New York. In December of that same year, they had an official wedding ceremony. Remy and Papoose were overjoyed to announce in June 2016 that they were expecting a baby. Sadly, Remy suffered a miscarriage, and she learned she might not be able to conceive naturally. A year later, their marital bliss was briefly interrupted when a woman claimed she and Papoose were having an affair during the time Remy was locked up. She a damn lie. Mm -mm, I don't believe this now, girl. She I don't a believe damn lie. When he had time to do that, he was up there with Remy ass all the time. Hey, shh. Just wait for the rest of the story, girl. If you shush me one more time, I'm gonna start leaving your ass at home. The woman also alleged she was pregnant with Papoose's child. In a lengthy Instagram post, Pap exposed the woman as a Connecticut concert promoter who had been bugging the hell out of him for years. Pap was also in possession of a video that was sent to him by a radio host. In the footage, the woman can be seen plotting the fake story with a friend. In his Instagram caption, Papoose wrote, I love the ground my wife walks on and would never ever cheat. But hypothetically speaking, if I did, it would never be with someone who is this unattractive. I'm sorry. I told y'all, that's a good man, Savannah. <laughs> They starred in their own TV series called Remy and Papoose Meet the Mackies, and in 2018, they celebrated their 10th wedding anniversary by renewing their vows. That same year, their daughter Reminis was born. After a complicated labor and delivery, Remy had to undergo surgery, and Papoose showed his love and appreciation by gifting her a $94,000 Cadillac Escalade. During a July 2020 interview with the Out Loud with Claudia Jordan podcast, Papoose made it clear they were ready for another baby. When fans heard the news, they started blowing up Remy and Papoose's social media accounts. Papoose had to backtrack a bit and told their fans to simmer down. Sit y'all asses down. During an Instagram chat, he stated that he and Remy had barely started the IVF process. But he went on to say that because he talked too soon, Remy decided to put their plans on hold for her own reasons. Oh, hell. <laughs> Here it come, y'all. Here it come. Although no specific reason was given for Remy's decision, it might have been for the best, given what would transpire in the next few years. In 2023, battle rapper Easy the Block Captain announced that Remy was his new manager, and rumors swirled that he had a real-life battle brewing with Papoose. In June 2023, Remy's Chrome 23 competition called The Grudge Card took place in New York City. An eyewitness stated Easy was a bit too cozy with Remy, and Papoose wasn't feeling that. The insider said Papoose allegedly swung at Easy, and Easy ended up laid out on the floor. Swing on him, Papoose. <laughs> with the allegations of a fight swirling around the internet, Remy hopped on Twitter and wrote, Y'all, please stop with the Easy and Pat lies. Girl, you the one lying. Lying next to Easy in the bed. <laughs> Allegedly. They didn't stop all the chatter, though. During a September 2023 battle rap between Easy and Geechee Gotti, Geechee directed his venom towards Remy. He called Remy out for cheating on Papoose with Easy after Papoose held her down for years. Geechee also confirmed the rumors of Papoose putting them paws on Easy. Remy stood in the background motionless. The ninja was too stunned to speak. When she was questioned afterward about how she felt about Geechee coming for her neck, Remy told a radio outlet that it was a battle rap, so she wasn't worried about anything that was said. <laughs> Girl, stop lying. Days after the event, Tasha K posted a photo that allegedly showed Remy eating at a restaurant with Easy. And then in November 2023, Remy and Easy were spotted at a Philadelphia Eagles football game. <laughs> oh, the disrespect trifling as hell. Later that same month, Remy took to her Instagram to write, you shit on me and I still never exposed you. Girl, maybe you should, cause you getting the side eye right now, girl. In December 2023, audio was leaked of Easy confirming the rumors that he and Remy had been messing around for a while. Easy later stated the recording had been edited, but he didn't deny that it was his voice on the audio. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Things aren't looking too good for the Mackies. 
They haven't posted each other on their Instagrams in months. Maybe these two can work things out. But the way Papoose has been publicly embarrassed over the cheating allegations, we think Papoose better let it go. Looks like another love TKO. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.